Hello and welcome to MTD CNC India. Today we are here at Air N1 Engineering, which is one of the fastest growing aerospace component manufacturing company in India based in Hyderabad. And I'm here with Mr. Gavin Price, who's the managing director of the company. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thanks for coming again. So, Gavin, I think I came here earlier two uh, years ago and now we are sitting in a new facility, a very big facility. So, you are growing very, very fast, obviously. How big this setup is and why did you start this setup? Yeah, um, this is our second facility now. Um, you, you came to the older facility, which is still going. Um, we recently started manufacturing parts in this in last um, May where we got our um, AS approval, and now we're also about 45 machines. This is 60,000 square foot facility, um, so it's a, a sizable jump. Our older facility is 20,000, so now we're working out of total 80,000. We're currently up to about 65 machines, um, and recently we started to install the special process line um, to do it all in-house capabilities. We've also shifted some of our attention to other sectors which are growing, so we're heavily into oil and gas. Um, we shifted our focus onto, uh, we're dealing with major OEMs. So um, we are now got a number of more aerospace approvals on board. So we're looking for, you know, a good strategic uh, customer base where we've got a, a big opportunity for growth. Uh, last year, we invested about uh, roughly about $2 million, I would say, on equipment, um, not including the infrastructure. So the, the, prop, the, the property you're sitting in now was a warehouse. So we turned it into uh, a full manufacturing facility. So hopefully you'll see some of the videos that we've done, that you know, of, of how it looks. It's completely salier-based manufacturing. So each customer has his own cell um, and the cabin dedicated to their specs and standards. So, and, and that's kind of spreads across aero, oil and gas, medical, um, the sectors. Uh, we've got up to about 250 people employees but we're we're quite lean in terms of in, an indian manufacturing company where we've got quite a lot of automation now we've got first dmg robo to go here, um installed um we've got uh pallet pools we have two has robots which i think last time you came you saw yes. was there they've, they've been a good success um and how we use them is we we work on uh like uh parts that normally take two days we get down to one day so it gives us, you know, 90 plus efficiency opposed to sort of stuck 50%. And we get uh, one day up from two. So that's been a really good success. Uh, we continue a sweet spot where we're high, high mix, low, uh, low volume, complicated parts. We still continue to get that type of business. Uh, we do have some higher running parts since you last came, but we are pretty much cutting every single material every day across our machine shop. Um, We've recently uh, installed three um, DMGs, hor horizontals. Um, so they're, they've been a, a big uh, uh, production gain. Um, and then we've got to dedicate yourself for them. So we call them our, our high performance cell. And then to complement that, we've fitted um, Leanworks. Tailored, we've tailored the solution for Leanworks on every single cell to, ge to give us... Uh, uh, spindle efficiency data in every single sale. So a lot's happened since last time we've got. Fantastic. I can see that you are investing a lot in DMG and high-end machines as well as automation, right? Yeah, we've invested in DMG um, uh, last year. Um, we decided to go sort of a bit more higher-end machines, so high-pressure call and, you know, uh, a few more little probes, um, higher torque, uh, robots, etc., um, we have obviously still got the rest of the brands such as Haas, you know, Brother, um, obviously local brands such as Lokesh, you know, uh, we've got Hyundai and then obviously DMG. Um, we will continue to probably put more DMGs in this year. We have some plans to put, um, pilot full system. Um, but we have also focused on our quality as well. We've, inc we've added, you know, more, uh, equipment you know we've added cmm we've added um uh like a, a hexagon arm um uh, roma arm we've added more microscopes um we are going to uh, also focus on our special process uh, division so uh, we're planning on that capital in july 
So once we've got an ad cap, then we can obviously cater to the uh, uh, not only our customers, but also we can take in work as well. So that will be open for everyone to use and that will be available in Hyderabad. So that will have chemical processes right through to um, uh, passivations and uh, black oxide, anodizing, et cetera. So that's quite an exciting project. Um, we are looking also for acquisition. So we're heavily looking now at strengthening our global presence. You know, 95% of our products are exported and we want to add uh, a, a US-based or a UK-based uh, division. Um, so this is what we're actively looking at. Uh, we are planning um, to also grow our in size of products we can make. So we're looking this year to add bigger machines for doing bigger rings, bigger diameters, uh, bigger parts, for example. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I saw the, you, some of one of your posts where you're looking to acquire companies out of India, specifically in US and Europe. Correct. We're, we're, we're looking to add, uh, add companies that, that um, ideally ones that are, are either in a similar sector or have different customers or have mm -hmm. a product that they make. Um, obviously, the world is going through a tough position right now. There is companies where that are looking um, to sell or are looking for partners and we're, we're looking to sort of, you know, plug that gap really um, to grow them businesses and, and add, you know, add our skills as well as um, grow them as well in, in, in within Regia. Fantastic. And uh, I can see that there is a lot of, you know, provision for future expansion here in this plant. And you are adding more and more sales for different customers. So what kind of customers you're looking for? Is it in aerospace? or defense or medical, which is your focus sector here? Well, we're, we're kind of about 50% aero and then about uh, the rest of it is split between uh, oil and gas, uh, sensors, valves. Um, so we're, we're kind of looking to continue that kind of to split um, because obviously COVID, we were, we were heavily into aerospace and we had obviously issues when, uh, you know, with COVID. Um, we realized that there's all opportunities in all markets so we're in we're interested in any markets really to be honest the longer as that there's you know there's opportunity for growth um we know that it doesn't always happen on day one but we look we like to think there's a project you know a projection and a plan and, and a way of working um and then we'll add sales we'll add equipment and then we'll uh we'll work you know we'll work strongly with that vision to create you know a, a long a long term supplier base basically or a long term customer and supplier relationship correct so here also I saw that you know you are investing a lot in manpower, training them, uh, building a culture where you know uh, there is a discipline and this this culture is all around quality, right? So how did you do that? Yeah, that we we've now a very diverse set of people on our shop floor. Uh, we have a lot of uh, females as well working machines. We have a lot of young, uh, uh, you know, team. And um, one thing that we, we do do is that we, you know, the, the cleanliness and the 5S, all of these aspects are driven down from the top to give us that uh, quality culture. You know, you know, when you walk on our shop floor, it, it, it's so clean that you, you know that, you know, you're into, uh, you know, a quality conscious environment. And, and that's what we, we're, we're trying to maintain. Um, equally, we're trying to maintain you know, the culture that there's a team, we have a lot of uh, uh, after work activities, we have a games room on site. We're trying to build the long term uh, relationships with our with our employees and also train them. You know, the, this very hands on approach that we, we take. It's um, they cut lots of different materials and lots of different products and, and a lot of them are multi skilled. And we have people that um, are effectively dropped out of education. And uh, we've taken them and now they're, you know, setting machines, they're, they're, they're programming, they're running sales, and, uh, you know, it's been a big success. So, Gavin, now uh, India is focusing a lot on manufacturing. Indian manufacturing uh, sector is growing and uh, India, India is also exporting a lot, focusing on precision component. So, where do you think RN1 engineering contributing to Indian manufacturing? Yeah, I think I think uh, RN1 um, it contributes a lot, you know, and has a has a strong uh, heritage of uh, experience, um, and uh, it's proven itself within the market with his customers. It's got. I think there's there's a lot of companies which are coming entering into the market uh, that are promising good things, and 
you know, maybe they'll deliver, maybe they're not. But I think any customer should know that, you know, aerospace uh, engineering is a, is, a, is a sector that needs a lot of attention. It needs a lot of skill. It needs a lot of knowledge. It needs a lot of experience. It's, it's something that doesn't pop up overnight, you know. Um, and I think that's what's seen when, you, when people come to r and one They see that because of experience that we've got in the field, you know, and uh, years and years of doing of these type of products in the, in the precision sector uh, is what we're known for. And uh, obviously we'll continue to grow, you know. We're, we're still a young company. We're only our eighth year now. Um, that's, that's still very young in this space. However, we have, you know, 65 machines. We have uh, 80,000 square foot facility, a special process division that's already opened and is obviously running um, and scoped to add another 100 plus machines. So um, we will continue to add. You know, if we, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll get to 65 machines. Um, but what combination of machines there'll be, we're, we're unsure now, depending on we may, we may go to a larger, larger product base or we might go to more automation. Um, but one thing we'll do is we'll continue investing in people. We'll, where we buy machines, we'll add equipment, a quality equipment, and we'll also try and add people or we'll, we'll try and give something back to the employees that we, we've got. Um, we've got a lot of people now that have been with us a long time. Um, so we want to we wanna keep, keep them in the family. And... Um, who knows, you know, hopefully we'll have a, 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 an open another facility in a different country where we can, you know, start to share, even send people to work there in short term, long term. And, you know, we can, we can open up a different, different viewpoint on manufacturing for them. Fantastic. I think you're absolutely right. When I spoke to some of your employees, uh, they were, everybody was appreciating that they loved the con uh, company culture. They learned a lot here. And also not only uh, about, this is also about the employees, but also as we are talking about Indian manufacturing sector, we have a very young population, but the skill set is still not there. And you are, you know, teaching this skill set to these young engineers and you are contributing, Aaron One as a whole company is contributing to Indian manufacturing and Indian society. Yeah, of course. And, and you know, manufacturing is still, I think it's still not broadly advertised in a way that is encouraging the young, young, uh, the younger generation to come. Um, that it's not a dirty environment. It's not messy. It doesn't have to be like that. It's, you know, and the term engineer is, is something that's not to do with software. You know, manufacturing is good. It is firm. It is, you know, everything is built on manufacturing. Um, you'll find over the next probably five years that salaries will overtake other other industries has been ocular in the past such as software engineering and things like that and i think that uh, it's a good time now for the younger generation to think about you know that you enter into this career that you no need to look anywhere else you know right. i've been in now over 30 years um this was my 30th year actually in april just crossed so um i'm confident that anyone who enters it will always have a job for life and will always do well and if they want to learn they can and um as long as they understand that it's, it, you know, it isn't easy. Um, it does take work, effort, and you've got to use your brain. Um, but it's, a, you know, it's an industry, a really interesting business to be in, where you'll learn a lot, uh, not just about manufacturing, but about products, how they're made, you know, what is, what is you know, how to, math, which is obviously not used very often. So lots of things that is, is, is really good and will give you good grounding for the future. And obviously, salary rewards, right? Absolutely, you're right. I think once uh, this AI is coming, people will start shifting from IIT to manufacturing again because now in IIT there will be a lot of job losses because of AI. But yeah, manufacturing is evergreen. Yeah, AI is obviously in, in manufacturing, but it's it's a long way to go. You know, we've had AI in uh, CNC programming for a long time, um, but it's it's still not it's, it's still not as good as the is is the is the man you know no, definitely that's what i'm saying uh, people will go towards manufacturing from it sector now yeah. and uh, now they would love to you know join uh, cnc machining and precision manufacturing yeah i think i think because you know people the, the, i guess the youth or the, the the population doesn't realize what great manufacturing companies are in india 
you know, there's, there's, there's some extremely good companies in India doing some extremely good work. And it's a way of, you know, certainly for MTD, uh, it's a way of coming and seeing, you know, what people are doing and how good they are, you know. And uh, I don't think that awareness is also in India, that, that what we're actually doing. Yeah. Um, and obviously doing these videos is good because we can see, you know, what, 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 what is happening. Yes. Um, I came when I was in 2012. I said that there was five years. I was told there was five years to go before India caught up. After five years, I was told there was 10 years. And now I'm still thinking that, you know, there's a long way to go and there's a lot of opportunity. Yes. Um, I think you just got to be patient um in in this sector but uh if if you if you you know if you prepare to put the hard work in it it yeah, eventually it will be off eh? so gavin as a manufacturing expert uh, you know as a visionary leader what do you think uh, what is the future of rn1 where are you going in next five ten years yeah our uh i guess our project uh you know growth or projections or vision is always to sort of maybe go for an ipo um you know, we're currently going the, I guess, fundraising rounds, or we're going to be start. We're going to start to do the fundraising rounds at some point, um, for obviously more growth. You know, we want to grow. You know, exponentially over the next two, three years. Um, but definitely IPO, maybe. Um, but just add more. Just keep doing what we're doing. You know, we're. You know, I, I just want to con continue to make quality products at a quality price. Um, and I want to, you know, try and service uh, customers who who, who want to work with us. You know, the, I do this business now because I enjoy manufacturing. Um, I want my customers to enjoy working with us. I want to enjoy working with them, and I just want to keep on trying to do what what we're doing, um, and and do and be better at it. You know, there's, you can never you just ne you don't know everything about manufacturing. It, every day, something different changes. So just keep doing what we're doing, really, and and hopefully fill this facility up with machines in a in a controlled way and uh you know continue to promote indian manufac manufacturing basically fantastic i think it's a really great vision and i'm sure you'll keep growing like this and uh very soon uh, we will have your ipo as well yeah hopefully so keep a watch for it <laughs> thank you thank you so much gavin wish you all the best thank you thanks a lot